our work. The one that he uses time wisely will be the one to prevail. No matter the status, we all have one thing in common. Whether you grew up rich, middle class, or poor, when we first open our eyes, we all give the same 24. So what are you doing with yours? Are you using it wisely? Or are you wasting your time? Kobe said it best. The mom mentality is about 4 a.m. workouts. Do it more than the next guy. And then trusting the work that you put in when it's time to perform. Without studying, preparation, and practice, you leaving your outcome to fate. I don't do fate. Life is filled with competition. The same thing you want in life, there's someone else that wants the same exact thing. So why you sleeping? There's someone that's still working on their dreams and their goals. So why you playing the game, watching TV? There's someone that's getting five steps ahead. So why you wasting your time? There's someone that's still out here grinding on their dreams and their goals. There's no shortcuts, and you can't cheat the game. I saw it with my own eyes as a child. I grew up watching people who was making fast money. And the one thing I realized that they all had in common, they were still broke. Because fast money don't last, because the quicker you get it, the faster they leave. But the money that you work hard for, the money that you earn, it tends to last longer. And I say this to say, you cannot short success. Because what you put in, you gonna always get back in return. There's no shortcuts. So you either gonna work for it, or you ain't gonna get it at all. We all know it. There's people who came into this world with a silver spoon, but it don't. But that don't make them better than you. If anything, it makes you better than them because you got a reason as to why you gotta go get it. Watching your mom struggle, worrying if you'll be able to pay your bills, whatever your trial in life is, you got a strong hunger for success, a stronger reason as to why you gotta have it. You ain't got nothing else to lose. But that person that was born with success, the guy that was born rich, you don't know what that struggle feels like. So his hunger is different than yours. Cause they know that they moms and they pops they just go buy whatever it is they want. They never have to worry about if the bills in the house gonna get paid, or if it's gonna be food on their table when they get home. They expect nothing less but that lavish lifestyle that they live. So they work after this different than a guy that knows nothing but struggle. The guy with success and the guy that knows nothing but struggle both came into the world the same way. But the only difference is, is our experience ain't the same. One saw nothing but struggle and the other one saw nothing but luxury. So who do you think gonna outwork who? The guy who said enough is enough, it gotta be more out of life than this because he tired of seeing nothing but a struggle. Or the guy that's living a lavish lifestyle, who comfortable, who ain't got a worry in the world. Yeah, the guy who came into this world who was born with success, yeah, he got a head start. But if he ain't got that hunger, that endurance to keep up the pace, because if not, then it's gonna be my turn. It's gonna be my turn to live that lavish lifestyle. Keep pushing, keep putting forth that effort. Each time before you finish your reps, do two more when you working out. Hard work is doing more than the next man. The harder you work, the harder it is for you to be able to quit, give up, tap out. Because if you give up now, you just might be one step away from attaining what it is that you seek. So each time when I work and I feel like giving up, I say to myself, tomorrow just might be the day that I might finally didn't make it. So if I give up now, then all that work that I put in is going to be for nothing. Hard work creates you into the person that you want to be. Hard work is what prepares you for what's to come. It's the hard work that you put in on your purpose is what creates the man. So how you gonna give up now? Why stop now? And just because the people that don't see it and don't recognize the effort that you put in, it doesn't mean that it will forever go unnoticed. Because when your efforts finally pay off, those same people will be cheering for you, thanking you. So don't give up and don't quit and keep pushing forward. Because one day that hard effort that you put in right now, it's going to all pay off. So remember, you are phenomenal. And if anybody tell you otherwise, 